It is a quiet morning here at the flea market, but I've done well so far. So not that many people, but a good day. Join me and see what treasures we can find. That is amazing. Uh, well, I mean, it's dirty, but it's still fun. How much are the choir guys? Fifteen on everything. All of them. Cute. Are cute too. All right. Thank you. a bottom I like that maybe he'll just sell me this he's the only older one the rest are all made in China I ended up getting this for a dollar I think this is the first bottle brush that I have that has the company label on the bottom, Northridge Pines and Wreaths, Freeport, Illinois. So I enjoy that. Might have to look that company up now. <laughs> Wonder what their advertising was like. Brand new hunting coat over there, brand new archery gear. It's all junked up on that shit. <laughs> No charge for the dirt on the bottle. <laughs> That's all right. Messy's fun to dig through. Spider-Man. Spider-Man was on Spider-Man walk. Oh, how pretty. It's a nice pie. It's the guy put it down Isn't that on nice? An awful lot of time. Filled his meal on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a nice color. The red is still really vibrant. I wore a tie at my father's funeral. I was 20 years ago. Oh, geez. You don't think men wear ties a lot anymore. 
Hang yourself in the closet if you want. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alrighty. We're gonna get this guy. I don't know what he is, but he's by Tome. Tome. Oh, he's from Avon. Maybe we won't get him. He's in the bank. Oh, we'll get him, see what he is. And then, maybe I can just, um, do you have a bag I could put him in? This way oh you can gosh, keep your boxes. And then I have this guy too. I don't know what you want for him. A dollar. All right, so that's. Flea market recap in pictures. Three, two, one. It was a good flea market day. I actually came home with a decent amount of stuff, a little haul, if you will. The most unexpected thing that I found was this little guy. This I recognized the name Tommy, T-O-M-Y, on his tag. For some reason, I thought it had to do with My Little Ponies. I don't believe it does, but when I saw that he was made by Avon, I was kind of, uh, I don't know if I should get it. When you think of Avon, you always think of those, you know, collectible, quote unquote, collectible perfume bottles in all the different shapes. And in my area, you can't put those out for free, but anyway. I figured, well, it's Avon, but this guy's cute, so let me get it. And it actually turned out this little guy does fairly well online. This is a 1986 Avon Puff the Magic Dragon talc dispenser. He is not a bank. He actually dispenses talc in the most, most cute, <laughs> the cutest way ever. His little nostrils have holes in them, and when you squeeze his tummy, the powder comes out that way, and it looks like a puff of smoke. He actually still has talc in him, so when I squeezed his tummy, it came out. This sells anywhere between $20 to $50 online. Uh, there's one right now, I believe on eBay, that is still in the bag, and it has a bid on it for $25. One out of the bag sold for around $30 uh, a month or two months ago. So for a dollar, this is not a bad buy. Actually, any vintage Avon plush seems to do really well, especially the alphabet monkey, which I had when I was little. That is a definite, if you see that, it's a monkey with long arms, long egg legs covered in the alphabet. That is a great 
thing to pick up but this little guy was so cute so for a dollar he was a really fun find and when I found out what he did that made him even cuter we found some vintage Christmas this is a bottle brush tree my favorite and what I loved about this is that it still has the label of the maker on the bottom none of my bottle brush trees have this at all so I'm going to have to do a little research on this company and see what I can find this was in a box with a nativity set the tag on the box said 15 the card on the inside of the box said 10 for all if the pieces would have been all vintage I would have bought it most likely but they weren't it was mostly all newer made in China I think there may be three pieces that were the um, the pieces made in Italy but this little guy I asked the guy if I could just buy this for a dollar and he said okay and it came home with me and I absolutely love it I found some other Christmas I bought these just for the box that was it uh, the lights again I have a thing about using vintage electrical stuff um, it just I don't know sometimes I get kind of I'm afraid I guess you could say but I bought these for the boxes because I have plans future plans <laughs> elusive plans to hopefully do something with them I love the you know the graphics illustrations molded of lustrous plastic <laughs> so I think I bought four boxes the boxes that weren't the most that were the, the most decent having a hard time with the English language just today uh, there were two boxes of napkins these are actually quite pretty and I imagine they were probably quite expensive so there were an array there's uh, holiday musical instruments children teacups uh, these will be in the Etsy shop because junk journalists and scrapbookers they love to use these napkins um, in all their crafting projects so be on the lookout for those these were a fun find I just love the variety and the colors they're rather pretty picked up the tie I went back and I picked it up and that man <laughs> uh, I won't repeat what he said you can use a tie for but I just thought the colors were too nice I couldn't leave it behind and then good thing I went back because I found this little container of a Denison paper fasteners my love of Denison um, I find the oddest things though for Denison um, I haven't found any of the tags that the really intricate or detailed tags so maybe that's on my list but I picked that up too and it still had the fasteners in it so that was a fun find we picked up some paper I found the religious cards they were most likely kind of I don't want to say flashcards but probably given out in Sunday school church etc and they tell you know a story and a lesson but they have such beautiful illustrations and you can see how vivid <clears throat> excuse me the colors are and there was a whole stack so I bought those and then I also bought the other religious little booklets I guess we can call them and then some assorted paper ephemera I did not read what the letters I haven't read the letters yet looking back in editing I don't know why I just didn't ask to buy that whole box or both boxes I'm sure the price would have been right my brain just kind of I can't explain it it happens <laughs> it happens more than it should but that's that's just how it goes so I hope you enjoy this little flea market recap you can get a bit of a closer look of the items that I purchased so we had some vintage Christmas some ephemera and then a little puff the magic dragon a little surprise guy so selling him um, that would make me in profit he's rather cute and so if you see him out especially with his bag be sure to swoop him up and again if you look for vintage uh, Avon plush definitely see what you can find there are some really cute pieces out there but a great day at the flea market came home with some really nice items excited to go back and see what other treasures we can find 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, click on that little thumbs up button. button. And if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to do so. This way you will always be in the know of all the times I go to the flea market and what treasures I bring back. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.